Hello, I'm currently here at Loudham's Coffee Shop while I have some warranty work done on Gustav. Um, it's a beautiful day. I'm having to seek cover at the moment because it is so hot. But Loudham's have given me permission to actually film their vans if I want to. Um, so we're going to go and do that. Um, and it'll be just my initial first impressions as we look in the van. I'm not going to be talking technical details. I might put technical details on the screen. I'm just using this time to have a look around. Sixty-nine four. Well, very spacious. When you walk in, it feels a lot more spacious than Gustav, and that's because it's got a longer seat at the front. Again, the cab will be exactly the same. Automatic, as I say, just a dream to drive. All the Adam modes are on Ford with an automatic gearbox as standard, but you have a manual selection on the side if you wish to use that. We've never had cause to. We've done it by mistake a few times by just hitting that. So you have park, reverse, neutral, drive, and manual if you wish to use the paddles on the side. On the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control, a limiter, which I've never used. Uh, that's for setting the speed. You can also move it up and down while you're driving or if you've cancelled it because you, you're slowing up, if you just press the middle one, it gets you back up to whatever speed you were at before. And then you've got your volumes and mutes for the radio, your controls over here for menus, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, these controls here will move your uh, stations on the radio or your MP3 tracks, etc. You've also got hands-free phone controls here. You've got automatic light setting. You've got automatic windscreen wiper settings, which is great. The full beam works automatically as well. So you don't have to keep pushing it down. If it detects a car coming towards you, automatically it dims the lights, which is excellent, better than my car. Um, other features we've got, you've got your normal air conditioning through here. The hazard lights are in a silly position. When the gear stick is in drive, it's sort of here, and you've got to go around it to get to the hazard lights, which in an emergency or on the motorway, if you come to standstill traffic, you have to actually look what you're doing to hit that. The mode here, um, I use this all the time. This goes into eco mode. So when you put your foot down, it's not so aggressive. Um, it's very easy with a wet road to put your foot down and for it to wheel skid because the engine is so powerful. If you put it into eco, it just takes that aggression off and I use that all the time. It also has um, auto engine on and off. Um, I did start switching that off and just letting the, the engine stay on all the time, but now um, I just leave it. Uh, it switches off when you're in standstill, saves some diesel. Display is digital. So it's just telling me the door's open at the moment. But your display is in digital as well as the normal sort of standard um, display. And it shows you if you're in part, etc. and on the side. Um, it's easy to switch between the different modes. It shows you your miles per gallon. I'm getting 30.1 at the moment. That's after a long trip to Salzburg. Um, that's the main settings. This is driver assist for lane, it has lane assist. Um, and various different options. I don't, don't need to go into all those, but if I press the menu button here, then it goes into all the different displays and settings there. Everything else there is the same. But on this version, it's more spacious because you've got a drop down bed, which is up there and I'm not gonna mess with that. Especially as people are outside. Space for TV. I'm presuming that that's the bed up and down there. Otherwise, standard controls. It's nice, it's got oh, a mirror and a cubby hole. That's nice. And a cubby hole down there, that's, I like that. And that looks like someone's added that on extra. Extra plugs. Oh, is that standard? And they plugged it. Okay, the standard one's there. And they've put something there to hold the TV as well. 
same fridge, it's just slightly higher up. It looks like it's got a cupboard up there also. Okay, there's a cupboard up there. And the toilet area. nice lots of mirrors good size shower they all the adamos come with these twin drain holes so the water can drain away easier than on the single ones a weakness we find is that bracket there this tends to swing down if you're not careful after a few uses doors will come across Good size space, and that's the ladder for getting into the bed if you don't have it fully down. Because I do believe on these ones you can put them halfway down, and then you can have a double underneath and a double on top. I think. I'm sure some people might correct me if that's not right. That's the impression that it's giving. And then access into the boot. So this hasn't got a price on it, but it looks second hand because it's comes with the um, a, a wheel lock and that looks like it's a looks like it's got the awning on as well when we go outside this one feels higher up than so, yeah so it's got an awning on the outside no prices yet yes. Is it, I'm not sure what that is. Is that an external gas? External gas. So 69.4. So just shy of seven meters. Yeah, it's a nice looking van. Yeah, for a second hand, they're in good nick. They've obviously been in the caravan club. Oh, and the camping club. 